Thank you for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into the outlook for the rest of the hurricane season in this video. Plus this, this is bringing in a ton of heavy rain, a life-threatening flood situation here. This is what we've been tracking. So I'm going to get into that as well. All of that in this video. Thank you, by the way, for sharing this channel, taking the time to like the videos and subscribing. I'm seeing that. I love it. Thank you so much. I love this weather community. All right, let's get to it again. Now, as we get into the rest of the season, the hurricane season goes through the end of November. Now, typical areas of development, and there's not many this uh, year, are off here just kind of in the North Atlantic. I'll explain that in a second. And then close to the United States, swinging back through the uh, Caribbean in here. Now, these are the two areas. I do expect some development this month. Last hurricane season in November was historically active. If you remember Hurricane Nicole, that caused devastation back through Florida. So again, we've seen some really active hurricane seasons. Uh, we had uh, in November and we've had a lot of flooding even in parts of the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago. We had that uh, last year as well. We went deep into November, December with all sorts of flooding. So it could be very active still this time of year. Water temperatures right near 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's one of the ingredients this time of year for still some development, and that's why the Caribbean is one of those hot spots. But uh, the water temperatures are running above average. They're usually still warm this time of year, and that's why sometimes in November we get development down here. But look at this map. You see this kind of orange or red shading here? That means not only are the temperatures warm, but we have above average water temperatures. So that's uh, not playing into our favor as we go forward into the next couple of weeks. There could definitely be development. And right in here, the heat content it's definitely substantial. That means not only is the water warm, but it's warm pretty far down. And as that water just kind of churns up, it's still warm. So with that, that could add a lot of fuel to the fire, so to speak. So again, this is definitely an area because of the above average water temperatures that we could see development, especially the central and western Caribbean. So that's the outlook. This is what I'm seeing. I do believe something will try to spin up, much like we're seeing right now near Belize, Honduras, and Nicaragua. We've been dealing with that tropical disturbance that moved by uh, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. This is going to be the spot we're going to watch together over the next three to even four weeks for development. Also over here, the North Atlantic is an area because sometimes you get these old fronts and they just kind of spin up something almost subtropical over here. So we'll keep an eye on Bermuda, may see something spin up there. But I do believe as we go through the end of hurricane season, even as we work our way into early December, one to two additional named storms will be possible. Sharp drop off, of course, this time of year. Here's the peak of the season, September 10th. But as we get into mid-November through November to December, occasionally you get a named storm or two. We had that last year and I believe we're going to have a similar situation this year with at least something spinning up. The next name on the list is Vince. We are very close to finishing the list, which is not a good thing uh, this year. Whitney would be the final name on the list. I don't use all the uh, letters in the alphabet. Then it would flip over to a secondary list, Adria and then Braylon after that. Now, once we hit the new year, it automatically cranks in to the uh, next list for the 2024 year that season. So uh, once we hit uh, January 1st, we work our way into a new list and there was an unnamed subtropical uh, system last January. So sometimes that does happen. And here's the big picture. It's these fronts that sometimes spin up a little something here and help enhance the moisture down here. That's exactly what we're seeing. This is a classic November outlook. A lot of cold air as well. Parts of the Mid-Atlantic uh, and Northeast United States. Now we get back here. This is that big surge of moisture I was watching in the Western Caribbean. I want to get into uh, that. But on the flip side, just what I was talking about three days ago, uh, it's working out perfectly, I guess, uh, uh, unless, uh, of course, I don't want the flooding, but we do need to get some rain in here. This is shifting this way and a little surge of moisture moving in. So hopefully you could fill up some of the cisterns before we really crank into that drier season. But again, flooding always a concern. And you see it there. Look at later today, a higher chance of rain. St. Lucia, Barbados, down through Trinidad and Tobago. And this this area here. This area here is where we have the mudslide threat. Please stay alert overnight as well. Again, caution if you're out and about. Could see some definitely washed out uh, uh, roadways or at least uh, those rivers quickly on the rise. A high mudslide threat. And again, that area there we're watching. This only has a small window of development. It doesn't look like it's going to develop into a named system because again, it's running into land. But tomorrow, more rain here. And again, still here's that surge of moisture lifting up a little bit more to the north. So even by 
Dominica will see some rain, and there's the old front giving us this uh, moisture here. Uh, I'll show you these rain totals. Unfortunately, they are going to be, uh, it's going to lead to uh, some damage and that threat of mudslides. As we work our way through the weekend, I want to take you through the weekend. Let me stop the clock here. Sunday afternoon, still a couple areas of rain. See it in the Eastern Caribbean, even Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, St. Martin Saba may catch some rain, but this rain just lingers here. Costa Rica, Panama North, Nicaragua, even Guatemala, El Salvador building in, Mexico, Belize, Jamaica and Cayman Islands. Most of it will be just off toward the west. Same thing as we work our way into Cuba, but it's been active. Uh, the Bahamas back through Cuba. Now, this is a big issue. Now, as far as rain totals go, we are off the chart. The white shading, the kind of black shading in here, 150 millimeters or six inches of rain. These spots here, we are going to get some locations in Belize and Honduras in particular, maybe even Nicaragua that get over 300 millimeters of rain over the next couple days. That's over 12 inches of rain. Overnight, please stay alert. If you have the heavy rain, I, I, I want you to get rest. I want you to get some sleep, of course. But if you have a ton of heavy rain and you're in an area that is susceptible to mudslides, maybe best to stay awake for a little while. Sometimes you could hear those things. A lot of times you can. You could hear the trouble as far as a, a mudslide is concerned. So uh, some spots may need to uh, kind of shift to where they are. I know that's easier said than done. I'm just very concerned about the uh, mudslides, landslides. Uh, again, Belize, Honduras, even on the edge of Nicaragua, well, with these very high totals, totals Eastern Caribbean, we could see a few spots getting 100 millimeters or four inches of rain over the next two days. As we work our way out here in the Eastern Pacific, uh, Pilar is somewhere in here. It's really falling apart. That is quickly moving away. But again, that already brought some rain to parts of Central America. Now we're seeing this new batch moving in. So it's kind of that one-two setup. It is not a good setup at all. So Belize, that rain chance is shooting up. We're thinking of you watching over Jordan Hopkins, uh, Belize City, Ladyville. Leave your location uh, and let us know what the weather is as we go over the next few days in the comments so uh, other folks can see it, and I'll be getting to that as well. Helps me out as well. I like to know the ground truth and what's what's going on. 40% uh, chance of rain today. Most of the heavier action in Jamaica is off toward the west. Cayman Islands, about a 50% chance. Heaviest again to the west. Bahamas, it has been active. We've had some street flooding in some spots, even watching over toward uh, the Turks and Caicos. 60% chance for today in St. Lucia. You see how it's gone up. That surge of moisture starting to work in. So watching out for areas of rain, Trinidad and Tobago, isolated flooding. Thank you for sharing this uh, information. 70% chance today in Grenada, 60% chance for tomorrow. Same thing, St. Vincent, Vincent and the Grenadines, that chance of rain has gone up. And we'll see about a 50% chance still on uh, Saturday. Now, Guadalupe, not as much today, but as that moisture lifts to the north, our rain chance will bump up. And you see that as well. Dominica, 60% chance for tomorrow. Same thing as we get into Martinique, a 50% chance today, but that moisture feeds in at least nearby. It's going to be one of those areas. Yeah, some islands, not a lot. Others, we're going to get some more. In Aruba, we're going to see more in the way of isolated stuff. It's still generally active. Maybe not quite as active as what we had earlier this week. Aruba, Curacao, even Bonaire, about a 30% chance of a shower. Haiti, a lot of it's either to the east or to the west. Rain chance, 20%. Same thing in the DR, about a 40% chance of some scattered showers and storms tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance in Puerto Rico, about a 20% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 20% chance as well in Antigua and Barbuda. But as I was showing you on Sunday, the rain chance is going to start to bump up even Sunday night. Same Kits, Nevis, and Montserrat. Rain chance gradually increasing as we go throughout the weekend. 20% chance today in Anguilla and uh, St. Bart's. Could be a little bit higher by Sunday night with some of that moisture nearby. St. Uh, Martin, uh, Saba, and Stasia by Sunday. Rain chance up to about a 40% chance. And you see in Bermuda, Bermuda, we're going to be active. These fronts have been nearby, so on and off areas of rain. Yucatan and Mexico, we've got that uh, system working in. Not a name system, but that's going to bring us that higher chance of rain. Ice Related, Turks and Caicos, most of it's been through the uh, Bahamas. Cuba, about a 50% chance right now favoring the eastern, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, western end. Costa Rica, that higher chance of rain against some areas of flooding in Costa Rica. Watching Panama as well. Northern Venezuela, scattered showers and storms, even up to about a 50% chance in Guyana. Suriname holding on to a 30% chance over the next two days. So the biggest concern is the mudslides. So the next two days, flooding and mudslides. Eastern Caribbean also seeing some of the rain and these fronts continue to get closer, not only leaving some moisture for us, 
but eventually we're going to see some wind shifts where we could get some slightly cooler air, at least some cooler nights around in watching for these late season spin-ups as we go through November. Again, Caribbean, one of the areas we're watching because not only is it warm, but the water temperatures are above average. And again, the old fronts could spin up something in the uh, north or central Atlantic. 27 days left in the hurricane season. So thank you for sharing this information, getting the word out. Uh, thank you for leaving those comments, location, your weather. I'll be getting to those throughout the day. Please be safe in Central America with this rain. Have a good day ahead.